Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today I'm going to be going over the best golden tickets in Madden 21. Now a couple things I want to say. Number one in this video you won't see players that we have seen in years past like Michael Vick. You won't see Bo Jackson. I'm not going to say Randy Moss or Calvin Johnson. Any of those players that are like more than likely going to get GTs or probably right off the top of your head, Deion Sanders, those players. I'm not going to be mentioning those guys that have already gotten golden tickets in the past before or like kind of just what we expect to see for GTs because yeah, you probably already know those cards are guaranteed to be good. I'm going to go over other players that I think would be really good. Maybe some new players we have never seen as GTs that maybe you're thinking of, but are just really good. And I know that I made a very similar video about a week ago, but that was before we actually saw exactly how they upgraded golden tickets like Jadavion Clowney. So I've definitely changed my mindset a little bit on which players I think should be uh, upgraded or which players would be really good at golden tickets. You guys go to the comment section right now and let me know a bunch of golden tickets. I did a live stream last night and we went over a bunch of different players that could be really, really good GTs. And there are some of them in this video. There are going to be some players from the last golden ticket video, of course, going to be back in here because after seeing Clowney, they're still really good options. I do want to give a shout out to Chris Dowling for being a part of the Nota Gang. If you guys want a chance to be shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel. Turn the notification bell on and comment down below Nota Gang. And remember guys, tomorrow we actually have our first opportunity to get a golden ticket. And all you have to do is log in tomorrow night between 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern time and you'll get three chances to get a golden ticket. So... Yeah, literally, I think it literally all you have to do is log in and you like get the pack. Maybe there's going to be some solos to play. Not exactly sure, but from the way that they worded it, I think all you have to do is literally log in and you get three packs that are going to be a golden ticket or a quick sell. And of course, there's only going to be 20 total golden tickets between the two days, 10 tomorrow and then 10 on Friday, given out between all the consoles. So yeah, keep that in mind. But let's get into this. Comment down below some other golden tickets. I know there are a bunch of good options out there, but Tim Tebow. So now what we know about golden tickets, guys, is you can choose three things to upgrade on GTs. And we kind of have a little bit of a path to follow based on how they actually upgraded Jadavion Clowney with the boost that he got, uh, his overall jump, everything like that. So Tim Tebow here, I still feel like honestly would be the best quarterback. Like, no lie. I actually think Tebow would be one of the best Golden ticket QBs this year for sure. Now, obviously his release is not very good, but if we're not talking about Aaron Rodgers, we're not talking about Brett Favre or even Drew Brees, after that, the releases aren't crazy, crazy different, right? With like Aaron Rodgers, Brett Favre, the releases are actually like very noticeably different in the frames and everything. With every other player, it's not that, that big of a difference. So with Tebow, although his release is definitely not very, very good, it would not be all that terrible. I don't really think it would be that different from all the other golden ticket quarterbacks that there may be. So with Tebow here, he's got 87 speed and 89 acceleration on 92. So if we add plus seven to that, we're talking 94 speed and 96 acceleration. Now, hopefully that would be the case and they would boost it by seven, taking with 99 overall. So his speed and acceleration definitely would not be a problem. But here's what I've been saying about this Tim Tebow card, guys. His change of direction is already 88. That would be around 94, 95, right? His strength is already really high. I mean, we're talking probably almost 90 strength, maybe even 90 strength there. His agility is an 88 already. Uh, his trucking, 88. His break tackle, 88. He's got an 84 juke move, 92 carrying already, right? Now, he's a 92 overall, so add 7. I don't know if they're going to make him 99 carrying, but that'd be crazy. At minimum, probably like 97, right? His throw power is a 91, so that would be up there easily to 99 with any, you know, play fake, go deep, whatever. Uh, short is a 91, medium is an 88, and his deep is an 86. So they would definitely boost his deep over 90, so he'd be already over all the throwing thresholds. And to be honest, if they had a plus 7 to him with his short and medium, let's say they got his medium up to a 95 there, that means if you're in play fake, you're talking 99 short and 99 medium, and his deep would already be over 90, and he's already got 92 throw on the run, 91 break sack, and 90 throw under pressure. And on top of that, he's got 88 break tackle, the trucking, the juke, the carry, literally everything on this card is so good that if you boost this guy up to a 99 overall, 
what do you even choose to upgrade? Because then you have three stats that you can choose to upgrade. Keep in mind, you can't choose something like speed or acceleration. I think that you may want to go with like, I guess, juke move you could choose to upgrade. Aside from that though, you really have two upgrades that you could go just about anywhere that you wanted with Tim Tebow because every other stat on this card would already be like, mid 90s for even running stats like the carry will be close to 99 the break tackle will be mid 90s trucking mid 90s i mean if you just want to make them like a tank i guess you go with like juke move you could go with trucking if you wanted to to get him like 99 trucking tim tebow and have the juke up there as well the care would already be so high you could go carry just to make sure it gets 99 but i mean plus seven overall here you really don't need to touch that so you can go with like trucking break tackle and juke if you really wanted to like tebow would just be so nasty as throwing the ball his stats would be good enough he wouldn't miss throws and then the running the ball he would still be insane and it's tim tebow but I am definitely all in on Tim Tebow. I feel like he would be a great card. And I just want to mention this one here. I don't actually think that this card would be absolutely insane. Not, not Reggie Bush. But I don't think that QB Ogden would necessarily be like the best golden ticket player to make. But we need golden ticket Ogden. Like golden ticket quarterback Ogden would be so much fun. Obviously, he would not be that fast. But it's just the meme of having a GT 300 pound quarterback. Quarterback Ogden, need to see it. But as for Reggie Bush, this is definitely one that would be insane. Now, of course, the receiving archetype that he has doesn't really mean much when it comes to, like, his abilities. Because as you guys know, you literally get to choose the archetypes that are available for ability slots. So, saying, oh, you need to choose a receiving back to upgrade isn't really the case. However, it does help a lot with actually picking what stats to upgrade. Because you guys can see Reggie Bush, he's got 91 speed, he's got 92 excel, he's got 91 change of direction already, and his catching is an 82. So bringing him up to a 99 overall, Reggie Bush is going to be around 90 catching base, which is just crazy. He's got 89 break tackle. He's only got a 60 trucking. So obviously you would want to choose trucking as one of his upgrades. And seeing how much they actually upgraded Jadavion Clowney with his finesse move, I would think that with Reggie Bush, just naturally, right, plus eight overall, he made about 68 trucking, maybe 69 trucking, whatever they decide to do nice so if you chose to do trucking there hopefully they would put him in at least mid 80s i'm hoping because it's so bad i would hope they'd put him in at least mid 80s trucking i don't know if they would super juice it all the way up to like 90 something you know but at least mid 80s would be nice and then the brake tackle would get up there as well spin juke that would get up carrying that would be about a 95 right 94 95 so you just put zone run on him you get that up even more not too bad of an issue there now we take a look at his route running though he's got 82 short 73 medium and 63 deep route running so all these would be boosted we may be talking about 90 short route running for Reggie Bush. That would be beautiful. His medium as well, probably around 80. The deep, you know, not too crazy there. The catch and traffic, 76. Spec catch, 75. So those would be, you know, about 80. Up above 80, like low 80s, whatever. So in terms of upgrades, you definitely want to go with trucking on him. And then after that, if you really wanted to, you could go with, like, the route running. You could go with really whatever you wanted after that uh, the really the main issue with this card would be the trucking if you wanted to go stiff arm catching traffic if you wanted to go you know medium route running as well to get that up to over 90 so he has short and medium route running over 90 and you can kind of motion him out as a wide receiver whatever you wanted to do reggie bush would be insane now while i do really really like reggie bush i do feel like this guy right here could also be really really good now here is the thing though right so the big difference between patterson with reggie bush and Patterson is, I think Patterson would definitely be the all-around better option if you are straight up looking for a receiving back because he's got he's a 90 overall with 90 speed, right? So his speed's gonna be up there. He's gonna be definitely be able to get to 99 speed with sprinter at the very least there. Now, if we take a look here at say his ball carry move, so like his juke carry, break tackle, trucking, that's kind of like the issue with this Patterson card. So his juke move would be above 90 his spin wouldn't be there you definitely want to choose to upgrade trucking on him at the very least because it's only a 53 it's really bad his change of direction is good though his carrying not too good and then his break tackle really not that great right so when it comes to upgrades on patterson i feel like the move with him would actually be to upgrade like trucking and then have your pick down here of like break tackle carry juke break tack whatever you want to choose here i feel like the move is probably trucking break tackle 
and carry i would probably choose those three there because the juke move's already gonna be above 90 so you already have that available truck and carry and break tackle to get those really boosted up that's what i would choose but on him just naturally his routes are so insane he's got 80 catching traffic he's got 84 short 82 minimum and 86 deep so we're talking naturally here if they just do plus nine over 90 short over 90 medium and over 90 deep so he could literally run every single route you could motion him out of the backfield you could have him uh, running five wide have him as an actual wide receiver out there over 90 for all the routes the catch and traffic would be you know about 80 89 whatever and then actually running the football depending on how much they juiced up the trucking because that would be a big thing here like how much they really juiced up the truck carry break tack whatever this would just be an insane receiving back maybe reggie bush the overall better running running back but patterson is the receiver i think he'd definitely be way better and this is the card that i've talked about quite a bit as well is harold carmichael i've talked about him quite a bit the past couple of days so i don't need to spend a lot of time on him but you guys can see his stats he's six foot eight he's an absolute monster and if you just add plus seven to this card i mean we're talking probably gonna be 96 feet i don't know if they'll make him 97 so that we get that to 99 with sprint or whatever but at the very least 98 speed 98 acceleration i'd hope anyways they would get him to 96 you could boost it up to 98 his catching will get up there his route running will get up there so you don't need to touch any of that and then after the catch he's already got 85 break tackle so that would be up there as well his juking change of direction the things that i would focus on when it comes to carmichael though is the run blocking and the impact block now it's already pretty good right 59 and 61 he can already get honorary alignment which is 60 impact block but if you boost run blocking an impact block on him and is a six foot eight 225 wide receiver and then with the last upgrade you could go with really whatever you want down here like if you went with juke move or you went with trucking whatever you decided to do here you could really make this carmichael a six foot eight run blocking absolute monster and actually be really really good after the catch too because carrying's already really high his break tackle is going to be probably about what plus seven overall about a 92 or so and then his juke move is going to be at 90 change direction is going to be about at 90 as well you could boost that up and get his juke really really high or his truck whatever you want to do carmichael will be a tank again another player that i've talked about quite a lot recently is montez sweat i feel like with defensive ends you could definitely go with like a lower overall silver that has potential to really get up there but the thing is with choosing those low overall players they are so hard to predict exactly how ea is going to upgrade them that's why i'd rather go with a player who has at least one one upgrade so you can actually see how they've been upgraded and with montez sweat i mean this is just a surefire like dominant card montez sweat definitely is 93 speed 95 excel already he'd easily be 97 speed ish 99 excel maybe we're talking potentially 99 speed 99 excel defensive end black shed's already crazy good hit power's already crazy good finesse moves already crazy good when it comes to his upgrades you obviously want to choose power move but after that you still have two more things to choose and those two things could literally be whatever you wanted I was live streaming last night someone donated and said that i should look at mo lewis as a potential golden ticket and honestly this card is really crazy now i know that like with outside linebackers whatever i think maybe there are some better just pure pass rusher options like obviously lawrence taylor whatever maybe some players that would be faster around the edge because if mo lewis here is a gt at a 99 overall we're talking probably 93 speed and 93 excel more than likely they just boosted by five which is not slow he's gonna be you know 95 speed 95 excel with sprinter which would be really good again if they boost everything by five but then take a look at the rest of his stats right he's got 92 block shed he's got 94 hit power 93 power move as well so not really anything you need to touch there because he's already be around you know 96 97 block shed hit power is gonna be around 99 power move is gonna be around 98 99 so he's already really good there but this is where things get a little bit interesting because you see his finesse move right so that's definitely something you could choose to upgrade his zone though is an 81 so you could really make this mo lewis card kind of into a hybrid linebacker especially with how the abilities work on these players where you can choose what archetypes to put in the different buckets so you could definitely put like a zone a coverage linebacker one on mo lewis to where he would have some extra zone abilities right because if you choose an upgrade zone on him he's gonna be over 90 zone so we're talking a 93 speed probably outside linebacker that can pass rush has good block shed and you can drop him into the flat you can throw him back into a purple and he can play some coverage for you maybe not the most dominant golden ticket or you know the most just 
crazy pass rusher, but potentially the most versatile defensive one. As I said, I do think that picking higher overall players, I think that it's a lot easier to pick what to upgrade on those players and kind of understand how EA is going to upgrade them. I think that cornerbacks this year are super easy picks because most of them have high speed, most of them have good coverage stats. So with basically any cornerback that you choose to upgrade, you wanna go with say block shed, hit power, and you have one more to choose whatever you want to do, tackling, catching, whatever you want to do, really, you could use that third one on, but definitely want to choose block shed and hit power for any corner you decide to upgrade if you want, if you pull a golden ticket. Well, Chris Westry is one that is interesting, and this is kind of hard because, as I said, he's a 64, and you don't really know how EA is going to upgrade him, but he's six foot four. Now, Chris Westry is a man-to-man -man coverage corner, so I went with a power-up of a man-to-man -man coverage corner around the same overall that I could find because this kind of shows how EA upgrades things from, like, you know, the 68 overall power-up up to, like, their base item, whatever upgrades they have, and I tried to find the fastest corner with a power-up to kind of show you because Dante Jackson is also a man-to-man -man corner. I'm not saying 100% this is how EA would upgrade him, but this is, like, the best guess that I have here is Dante Jackson, right? So Dante Jackson has 83 speed at 68 overall, and that's his power up. Westry has 86. So there's no way this Westry does not get to 99 speed and 99 excel at the very least with Sprinter as a golden ticket. There's just no chance. Now, you guys can see as well, he's got 50 catching, Dante Jackson 47 on his 68. But of course, what really matters is the defense stuff right here. So zone plus five to Dante Jackson, and he's only plus four overall. So I think that we could expect that he'd be around the same zone coverage as Dante Jackson at a 99. This can be really important because I'm about to show you what Dante Jackson looks like at his 91 overall. The press is higher for Chris. The man coverage though is only a 48. So plus 10 overall and the man coverage is not very good. The play rec also plus 17 to Dante Jackson. Now you guys see the run stuff, 38 block shed, the hit power, 47. I think without a doubt, like I said, every corner you wanna go with block shed, hit power on him, right? So then you have one more thing to do. Now his tackle is a 42, which is a lot higher there than Dante Jackson. And if we go with Dante Jackson's highest overall card, which is his 91, you guys see the speed here, 95 overall. So like, Chris is gonna be definitely 97, 98 speed corner. I just don't see how he's not. Acceleration, also 92. He's definitely gonna be super, super fast. The issue is, though, defensively, the zone, right? So zone is an, only an 83 here. Only an 83 for Dante Jackson at a 91 overall, which means that at a 99, if you add plus eight to that, we're talking about a 91 zone coverage right there, right? Now, the man is an 88, which is good because that means if you add plus eight to that, boom, you could easily get that up to 99 man. The issue becomes, though, with this Chris card, as I said, the man was way behind. The man was way, way behind here on uh, Dante Jackson. So if Dante Jackson plus eight is getting to 96, man, and you need at least 95 to get the man to 99, would man coverage actually be something you would have to choose to upgrade on Chris to be able to get that near 99? That is the issue and the risk that you run with choosing a low overall player like this is you just don't know how EA is going to upgrade them. You could not choose to upgrade man coverage and they give you 93 man. Boom. Now you can only get to 98 man coverage and you can't get it to 99. That is kind of the issue with going with like a silver. Now this is another card that you guys mentioned to me last night over on the stream and that is Carl Banks Strong Safety. Now he's a 96 overall with 92 speed and 94 XL. So if they had just plus three to him, unfortunately, he's only going to be 95 speed base. And I would hope they would make him a little bit better than that, but he'd be only 95 speed base. So we're talking a 97 speed safety. That instantly hurts the card a lot because a lot of golden tickets, whatever, they're going to be to get to 99 speed. If you want to use him, if you want to have him out there as a coverage safety, you want to have that higher speed, right? So that is a bit of an issue here. Now his man in zone though, is really good. So you wouldn't have to touch that because that'd be 99 and 99 easily, just, you know, plus three overall, lockdown, easily get that up. The thing is though, his block shed's already a 96, and then his hit power's a 94, his pursuit is a 95, and his tackling's a 94. I don't really think you have to touch any of that because he's gonna be at 99 block shed, his pursuit's gonna be up, his tackling's gonna be up, his hit power's gonna be up. This card is so good except for the speed. Except for the speed, this card is so good, and then you have three things to upgrade. You can really go whatever you want. Like, if you wanted to go with even, like, press, you could go with, like, press on him. If you wanted to guarantee to get to 99 hit power, whatever, you could do that. And then catching. The issue is, though, the speed. 
It's another player that I've been very consistent with that I feel like he'd be like the best golden ticket user card. And that's Pat Watkins because he's six foot five. I do think that Isaiah Simmons is also one that I would really like to see. But I think that if you're going to choose a user and you absolutely want just the best user possible, I think you go with Pat Watkins. He's six foot five and he's going to get plus seven overall. So he's definitely going to be able to get to 99 speed, 99 Excel with Sprinter on him. At least you would hope so. They would make him, you know, plus seven overall. At the worst case scenario, they give him plus six, 97 speed. His man is already an 86. His zone is already a 90. So he'd be over 90 man and he'd be able to get to 99 zone very easily. Then, of course, his hit power, you're talking plus seven overall. He'd be about a 93. So honestly, you could choose to upgrade the hit power on him to get that up more towards 99. And then the block shed is a 61. So again, that's something else you could choose to upgrade is the block shed. So a 6.5 safety that you could use her with incredible block shed because you would choose to upgrade that and hopefully get to mid 80s, maybe even if they really boost it around 90 i don't know maybe that's too much and then the hit power be up there as well and then you have one more thing to upgrade you could go with man to get that to 99 but if you're going to use them i guess that really doesn't matter you could go with really whatever you wanted to and as for the final golden ticket i want to go over today guys that would be cornerback jim thorpe now as i said with chris you could go with him and kind of risk it with jim to get a 6-1 corner with a 94 speed and 96 excel to 95 so we're talking 99 speed 99 excel at least hopefully anyways with sprinter at the bare minimum you definitely get that 93 man he's got 87 zone and 91 press so the press would get up the man would get up and the zone is only an 87 so maybe that's something you'd want to boost on him but his hit power is already a 90 he's got 81 tackling 77 pursuit and 66 block shit so i would say zone coverage on him because that may only be like a 91 so you want to get that to where you can get it to 99 the block shit would be up the hit power is already crazy high we're talking like 94 hit power and then you could go with like tackling on him or whatever else you wanted to i really feel like jim thorpe would be an incredible golden ticket so with that being said guys i hope you did enjoy the video and if you did make sure you guys drop a like in the video and of course hit that sub button down below let me know what other golden tickets you guys would like to see in madden 21 hopefully you guys enjoyed see you guys next time